first encountered Kirk, not meeting him personally, I was driving, I was living with my parents at the time on the west side and I was driving to the east side across the Hawthorne Bridge to meet up with my brother. I was working in, or I was doing theater at the time. And so I would see him on the Hawthorne Bridge like so many people experienced Kirk. And he was a, a great part of the city, a, a beautiful part of the city. Uh, he told me a lot about about being lonely and also about how important his art was to him, how important it was to him to be something for people, be like a, a moment of, of happiness. He also was really proud of the fact that he had saved a number of people from suicide by just being there on the bridge and being this tearful presence. Um, that was really important to him. Later in 2010 when uh, we connected again when I was trying to help him raise money for his medical bills, uh, he talked about how he was often in competition with people who were asking for money on the street, not performing but just asking for money. And he talked about how that was really difficult because it, people were more likely, he felt, to give money to people who were just asking and looking like they needed it as opposed to him because he was dressed well and looked so happy so he couldn't possibly need anything and so um, to me that was really interesting because it, it, it said something to, how, to me about how we view art in our society and how we maybe value it or don't. So I think he knew that he had a whole look and a whole presence that was really Import, like it was important that there was a continuity to it for people. I think he was aware of that. I've given myself two weeks to work on the painting and probably like four days into it when I had what I would consider a rough um, base on everything. So not just a base coat of colors, but like a base coat of colors with my, my marks that I do sort of on top of it and some blending done. But with major elements missing, like the music was missing and um, things like that. But four days into it, people were like, it's done, it's beautiful. You know, I don't know what else you have to do. <laughs> and for me, from the beginning, the mural was about Kirk as a person, not as a performer. I wanted people to see it and recognize him and remember what it was like to have that moment with Kirk and have just that sort of injection of cheerfulness. But I also wanted people to see him as a person and a person who struggled. So the mural is what has been described to me as a, a label mural. So it looks like sort of a label pasted on a bigger wall. So there's, there's, there's wall around the mural and it's uh, a bust of Kirk, sort of in the middle-ish of the label mural. I'm not certain that Kirk ever felt totally validated as an artist. He would write these long emails to um, his email lists. Every so often he would send them out, just sort of what was going on for him. He was working on movie projects and doing various things and so he would just let people know what he was working on and in a lot of those messages I felt like he was striving for recognition and you know I, I don't I don't know everything about what was going on in Kirk's head but uh, I don't think it was just about fame. You know as an artist you want to be acknowledged for the contribution that you're making to society. And I think Kirk did know that he was cheering people up. He was um, like a special nice thing in their day. He knew that, but I think he wanted more. And he, for an artist, it's really important to get that feedback, that acknowledgement that what you're doing is important. 
because it, it makes you want to keep on giving of your art. And if, unless you have that energy in, it's hard to have that energy out. And I think that, I, I worry that ultimately he felt like he was giving a lot of energy out and maybe not getting enough back. I guess I feel like I can't be the only one who feels like I owe him more than I ever gave him, certainly. I feel like when someone takes their own life, you know, that's a, this feeling of what could I have done differently, how could I have changed something for him. So I... And... Okay, this mural has gotten a lot of attention, right? Um, I'm really glad that it is making an impression on people and it is something that people are glad to see. That makes me very happy. But I think as any real portrait artist, um, journalist, <laughs> you know, anyone who is portraying real person, there is a tendency and a desire to put the attention back on the person who's being portrayed, and that's certainly what I want here. Obviously I'm a part of the story, but it's about Kirk for me, it really is, and, and I'm glad that it has been for others as well, that's, that's what I want. <laughs>